here today. We're in the beautiful Key West, Florida. Uh, first time we've been here, so we're gonna go see the southern most most of the in the United States, and then just walk around. And we have to be back on the ship by 3:30, so we need to get up there early. But it's absolutely gorgeous down here. I can't wait to see whatever is here in the waters. So we'll catch you later. Thanks for everything, ladies. Thanks for everything. Is this so? This is on off. Yep. Okay. You got yourself. Okay. Oh, so if we got off. If you get off, like, another one's gonna fly every 15 to 20 minutes. And we just went. Right. Okay. You want to do this? <laughs> I was trying to one the other day. Allison, we just can't get rid of these Youngstown people. <laughs> They're everywhere. Chicken. Okay. Those are also a comment card on the back. You can drop us the mail, a mail for free. Okay. If you like the tour, my name's Ed. If you don't, it's John. <laughs> <laughs> You got something smart to say, lady? I never have anything smart to say. You guys hopping on? You guys hopping on? I thought everything you said was smart. I thought everything you said was smart. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm, I got it.
Get there. Imagine that. Imagine that. Hello. All right. This is perfect. Okay, we got audio going here shortly. Say something for me. Uh, What'd you say have for, something. What'd you have for <laughs> breakfast? I had a ham and spinach omelet. Egg white omelet. Good there. Good. Okay. I am almost rolling. Hang tight. Almost there, and we are rolling. Okay, so do me a favor. First off, to cut your food. Just there. There you go. Right there. Um. So you're out here on this cruise. Yes. It's obviously beautiful, all the ports you go to. Absolutely. But what's so special? The artists, the music. I, we can't find this at home. We're from out, right outside of Washington, D.C. And of course there's music there, but it's not like the jazz, the experience that you can get on the food. And I would do this every year if I could. It's just, you know, sit down to breakfast, you got Jason, you know, Moran's sitting over there, you know, Christian Scott walks by and all the band members come up, you know, it's just, you know, hanging out with Marcus Miller one night and just, it's amazing. I cannot describe just how great this experience has been. Do you have a specific, like, uh, moment that you remember, like a favorite show or a... I want to say the, uh, the party yesterday, the party, um, the Marcus Miller jam, um, it was... It was just amazing. I actually turned to my husband and I said, I can't believe this is my life right now. I'm out here in the middle of the ocean watching Marcus Miller play with his band. And then Candy Goldberg comes on stage and Kevin Whalen comes on stage. It's like, oh my God. I like, I really could not believe that was my life at that moment. It was so incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, i got to say, I mean, it's, it's incredible to see all these shows, but also at the same time. You get to do a little bit of relaxing. Exactly. I was laying by the pool earlier. I've laid by the pool many times. I got a little burnt at the beach the other day. But you know what? That's okay. Considering it was three degrees at home a couple of days ago. I'm like, I don't care. I'm here. <laughs> it did not make a difference to me. So yeah, it was it awesome. It doesn't hurt that it's in January. Right. And, <laughs> exactly. And, yeah. and they, they, they planned it at the right time. That's yeah. for sure. Um, I guess just really one last question. Sure. Um, 
you go to all these concerts and and you start jamming out with them. Um, how does how does the music make you feel? I, this is gonna sound so corny and cliche, but actually, I feel it in my soul. I feel it in my heart. I grew up around music. I grew up on jazz and R and B and funk, and I can come here and I can hear all of it. And it just, it's so amazing. Like, I actually feel it in my soul. And it's just, and everyone I, you know, talk to about this cruise, I'm like, you have to come. I can't tell you about it. It's, to me, it's not just a cruise, it's an actual experience. Because you're not going to find this anywhere else. It's not possible. That's great. That's fantastic. So, wait, I, then I got one more question now. That just drew, drew one more. Sure. So... So hipper music, younger music, what's what's the, you know, like, so you have some of these classics, right? Mm -hmm. But what makes this different than the other one? Like, have you ever been to jazz, the jazz cruise? Not yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> so so you originally started on this one. Yeah, last year, although I got sick, uh, yeah, I missed, yeah, I missed five out of seven days, and I was devastated, uh, so. I heard that, actually. Yeah, so we had to come back this year. Oh, uh, good. I heard that he made, you made him come back. Yeah, I did, that. and I'll probably make him come back next year, too, just because. That's awesome. Yeah, I just, for me, I guess what I was trying to figure out is, supposedly there's this, like, you know, different difference in these two cruises, such a big difference, and, and, and I guess the difference is this one's a little more mellow and, and younger artists. Mm -hmm. And, and I guess I'm trying to figure out, it took me a little while to kind of figure out, like, why, why, like... Um, I think just from talking to the artists, because they are so young, they still draw on what I call the old school, like the standards, but then they put a little hip-hop spin on it. But they appreciate where it all started, and that's the beauty of it. Because, you know, I love, you know, love Disney, I love John Coltrane. You know, I love Miles, and they incorporate all of that in there, but that hip-hop flair, which helps draw the young crowd. And I'm probably one of the younger people on this show, um, but I mean, I just love it. I mean, it's, it crosses all the lines, and the beauty of this group, you know, it brings everybody together because we all have something in common, and it's the love of music, whether it's jazz or hip hop but it brings us all together and to me it's a beautiful thing because we have met some of the most amazing people so wow <laughs> can i get your name towards camera sure allison donnelly from sterling virginia and give me one last thing come to blue note next year join us at blue note at the sea next year i you know what i will nearly last it's a beautiful place um I did an interview with Entertainment Cruise Production, so we both did, so we'll see what happens next year when they start advertising for 2020, so that was cool. And it's just overall just a good day, relaxed by the pool and art walk around, but yeah, just Key West is a beautiful place, unique, it's almost like it's another country, but it's not, but it's a great place, and now we're heading back to Fort Lauderdale, and home tomorrow night. Yes. So put your hands together for Nikki Hammond. to 
is presenting tonight. Please give it up for Mr. Terrence Blanchard and the E Collective. on behalf of Blue Note Records, on behalf of all these musicians, we would really like to thank y'all for bringing your spirit and sharing it with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys truly inspired us. We hope the music inspires you, but it definitely goes two ways, so thank you very much. We got an incredible 2020. I'm just telling you, you see the posters outside. I'm just saying. You might want to check it out, but thank you very much. We love y'all, and we'll see you again very soon. Get home safe, all right? All right. Have a great evening. We're not done. Have a great evening tonight, okay? All right. See y'all around. <laughs>